Good morning or happy whatever time of the day it is where you are right now. All right, so today you will need your mat and a block and a strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can grab a towel, belt, dog leash, and if you don't have a block, that's okay. You can work without. All right, we're gonna get started. Hmm, come onto your mat. If you have a block and your hips are feeling pretty tight, feel free to sit on your block or not. It can even be a blanket. And We'll start in Baddha Kunasana. Soles of the feet come together to touch. Arms relax down alongside your body. Elbows bend so you're not reaching, but rather than softening the shoulders and collarbones. Allow your eyes to close. And start to listen for the sound of your breath. If you practice with ujjayi, go ahead and turn that on now. If you're new to ujjayi breath, feel for constricting the back of the throat and making that audible inhale and exhale sound. And on your exhale, relax the lower row of teeth away from the top row of teeth and spread the space between eyebrows. Maybe scrunch the eyebrows up and all the other muscles in the face and then let them soften. Our pranayama this morning will just be to consciously breathe and add a pause to the top and the bottom of the inhale and exhale. Inhale until you're completely full and pause for a moment. Exhale, empty all the way out, pulling the abdomen in and pause there. Continue this breath style for a couple moments. Feeling for stretching the lungs to the right and the left, as well as forward and back. Our intent for this class is to feel and find ease in your practice. When you notice struggle or anxiety or frustrated sensations, Allow yourself to come back to your breath and feel the ease of the, the rise and the fall of inhale and exhale. And maybe taking that pause at the top of the breath and at the bottom of the breath to support the intent. Feel for that pleasure of slowing down. Allow the breath to grow a little longer. And hone in on the widening of the diaphragm. So you really feel the center of your torso expand outward in all directions. I may refer to that as telescoping your ribcage, meaning it widens and lifts up 
while you breathe in. Take three more breaths with a pause at the top and the bottom of the inhale and exhale. And after you're finished, go ahead and open up your eyes and use your hands to close your legs like a book and come off of your block. Place that off to the side. Extend your left leg straight and bring the right foot to the inner thigh for a one-legged side bend series with three stages. Before we start, activate your feet and legs, meaning kind of flex the muscles of your legs into the bone. Reach up with the inner left ankle so the foot's not kind of kinking in or out or hanging, hanging off to the side. Spread the toes, reach through the ball mound and the inner ankle. Go ahead and lie your left arm, palm open, on the inside of the leg. Soften the shoulder. Inhale, reach the right arm straight up towards the ceiling. Pause there for a moment and just feel for opening up your heart. Then go ahead and take your right arm around your back for the arm wrap for neck release. Go ahead and soften left ear towards left shoulder. Inhale, spread a breath underneath the sternum and lift the chest up. Exhale, pull low abdomen in. Soften the lips and cheeks. If you're releasing a lot of energy from the eyes, let the eyes close. Inhale, widen your breath. Exhale. Soften the shoulders if they started to grip. Where are you struggling right now? And instead of struggling, can you bring ease and pleasure into the practice? Continue to push the right hand that's on your back body into the body. So it really pulls open the shoulder, right chest. Take two more deep ujjayi breaths here, grounding down through the sit bones and tailbone. Exhale, continue to flex the feet. Now keep your head and neck relaxed towards the left. Release your right arm and bring it up and overhead into a side bend. Now wrap the right shoulders into the armpit. So rather than opening up the armpit and reaching as high as you can, bend the elbow, reach the elbow towards the front of your face and extend long. This will help the stretch go down towards your lats, right, and the right side of your body. Now if the neck or jaw gripped, during that transition, feel and soften. Inhale, spread open the palms of your hand. Exhale, push the legs into the earth. Maybe take that pause on the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. If you are pushing yourself to where it doesn't feel so good, back off and find that sweet spot. Okay, to come out of this variation, reach the right arm up and overhead, pause, spread the fingers, and go ahead and pull the torso up using the right arm. And pause, once the torso is lifted, take your left hand 
cradle your head in your hand and pick your head up to center. So we teach this in Force Yoga so that you can practice being kind to your body and also practice keeping the neck soft and released rather than jerking it back up to center. Last variation in this one-legged side bend. Inhale, reach arms up toward the ceiling. Exhale, fold over the straight leg. Connect to the foundation. Reach through the left heel. Inhale, scoop the chest up slightly. Exhale, pull abdominal wall in towards the spine. Fold a little bit more. So you're really using the core muscles to support the spine. And then bow the chin towards the chest, maybe shake it left and right. Inhale, feel if there's any struggle. And exhale, relax the tongue and lips. Let this be easy. Inhale, telescope the ribs and exhale, soften one more layer. Go ahead and roll yourself up. Keep that head and neck relaxed. So the torso again sits upright. Take the heel of one hand to your forehead and pick your forehead up with the hand. Go ahead and switch sides. Extend your right leg long, bend the left foot and activate the toes and feet. So you're really spreading the muscles and the bones in the bottoms of your feet. Take your right arm on the inside of the right leg. And before we start, Come into this chest opener variation. So you're really just reaching the left arm up as high as you can go to pull open in the front of the heart. And then from here, come into the arm wrap. So bend the left elbow, wrap it around your body. You can push the back of your hand into your low back or grab a hold of clothing or waistband. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, use the legs and low abdomen to support yourself so you can relax head and neck to the right. Inhale into upper left chest. Exhale, slide the left shoulder down away from the throat. Really feel that release in the scaly muscles. Where does it feel good? Can you hone in on that sensation and bring more ease to that pleasurable spot? Inhale until you're full and pause. Exhale, empty the lungs and belly by pulling the belly in and pause empty. Continue breathing like that so you're really slowing down the breath, Massaging your nervous system. If you found an area of struggle or tightness, adjust so that you can soften into the pose rather than fight with it. Continue to reach through the inner right ankle. To come out of this pose, release the arm wrap. Reach the left arm up and overhead for the one-legged side bend. Inhale, telescope the ribs. Exhale, spread hands open. Relax the head and neck. Continue to internally rotate the right leg, so rather than letting the foot turn out, pressing the hamstrings and the calf 
and the back of the knee directly into the mat. And then breathe into the left side of your body where you're opening your rib cage like an accordion. Feel for that length you're creating in the side body. Now, if the neck grips, kind of let the head fall. Feel gravity and maybe rock the head back and forth. Okay, two more deep breaths. Feel for ease and comfort. Now, to come out of the pose, take that left arm. Hover the hand over the mat. Use the left arm to pull, pull, pull the torso upright to a seat. Keep your head and neck relaxed. So if you pick your head up, let it relax back down. It feels odd. Take the right hand and massage the right side of your face. And pick your head up using the strength of your right arm and hand. Pivot the torso. Inhale, reach and lengthen upward. Exhale, forward fold over the right leg. You can grab a hold of the leg or let the arms relax alongside the body. Right? You can soften the shoulder so that the shoulder girdle relaxes. And the movement here comes from the core and your foundation. So inhale, telescope the ribs, lift them away from your waist. Exhale, draw belly button towards the low back and sacrum. And bow yourself down. Lengthen the back of your neck. Use the head as an anchor. Listen for your breath. You can halfway lift. And fold back down. Keep using the abdominals and obliques. Inhale, pause once full. Exhale, lungs and belly and pause empty. Can you feel your pinky toes here? If not, wiggle the foot around. Okay, to come out of the pose, let's take one more breath in. Exhale, empty completely. Use the core to roll upright. Keep the head and neck relaxed. So shoulders lift, chest lifts, heel of the hand comes to the forehead. And Gently pick the head upright. Mmm, yum. All right. Come onto your backs for some abdominals. If your back needs extra support, grab a towel or a blanket and you can lay that underneath of you if you'd like. Lie down on your back. Keep the feet planted. Right underneath the knees. And go ahead and take your peace fingers and reach for your sit bones. There's those big bones on your butt, right where your thigh and your butt meet. And then go ahead and squeeze these muscles. Feel the sit bone muscles activate and then let them go. One more time. Give them a squeeze. Feel with your fingertips what happens and then exhale, let them go. Okay. Those are the muscles you'll be using to tuck the tailbone. Interlace fingers behind your head and neck. Bring them to the base of your skull. Point the elbows up. Take a deep breath in. 
Hold the breath in, squeeze the sit bone muscles, curl the tailbone up towards the thighs, push the low back into the mat, and pull belly in. And then go ahead and release. That was just one prep movement. Let's start now. Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath, squeeze hip bone muscles, curl tailbone, draw low back into the mat. Exhale, pick the left foot up, draw the elbows and shoulders off of the mat towards the left thigh, pull belly in. Inhale, release the head and left foot down to the floor. Breathe in and hold the breath once you're full. Squeeze sit bone muscles, curl tailbone. Exhale, pick the right foot up, knee stays over the hip. Lift the shoulders and elbows up towards the right, pull belly in. Keep squeezing the sit bone muscles. Release and inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze sit bones, curl tailbone. Exhale, lift left leg and shoulders up to the left. Look at your belly, pull it down. Inhale, head and foot come back down. Breathe in and hold the breath once you're full. Squeeze sit bones, curl tailbone. Continue to push the feet down into the floor. Exhale, pick up the right foot and the shoulders and chest. Lift up, keep relaxing your head and your hands. Pull abdomen in. Inhale, head down and foot down. One more round, breathe in. Hold the breath, squeeze sit bone, curl tailbone. Exhale, left foot and shoulders lift up. Spread the left toes, pull abdomen in. Inhale, head and foot down. Hold the breath, squeeze sit bone muscles, curl tailbone, feel the low back lengthen. Exhale, pick the right foot up and the shoulders. Push low and mid back into the floor. Resist gravity, draw low abdomen down. Inhale, head and foot come down. All right, go ahead and grab your block. If you don't have a block, you can use your blanket, a pillow, something to put in between your legs, all the way down towards your pubic bone. Abs with a block. If your hamstring tweaky, low back tweaky, or working with an injury, feel free to keep your feet down on the floor. You'll just hone in on the cues of squeezing the block and tucking the tailbone. If you're having an advanced day or feel pretty good in your body, squeeze the block and reach the legs up towards the ceiling. Activate the feet. So it's kind of like you're wearing high heels. Reach through the ball mounds, toes spread, calves engaged. Interlace the fingers and then switch so you have the other thumb or index finger on top, your non-habitual class. Bring the hands back towards the head, elbows point up, head comes down, inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze sit bone muscles, squeeze the block, curl tailbone up. Exhale, lift elbows and shoulder blades off of the floor, pull abdomen in. Inhale, head comes down, release the pelvis. Hold the breath, squeeze the block, curl the tailbone up, draw low and mid back into the ground. Exhale, clear the shoulder blades off of the floor, Keep the neck relaxed, pull belly button down. Inhale deeply, relax down towards the floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the block, reach up through the inner ankles. Exhale, lift chest towards the sky, pull belly in. Inhale, head comes down. Keep the legs active. Hug the muscles into the leg bones. Hold the breath once full, squeeze the block, curl the tailbone. Exhale, lift the chest up, pull belly in at the end of your exhale. Inhale, head comes back down to the floor. Two more. Squeeze the butt, curl the tailbone. Exhale, lift up, relax your jaw, pull low abdomen in. Feel the burn. Let it be easy. Breathe in. Hold the breath. This is the last one. Last one. Squeeze the butt, reach up through calves. 
Exhale, lift the chest up, push mid back down, pull belly in, and inhale, release the head gracefully. Feet come down. Keep the block or your prop in between the legs and just soften right now, wherever you are, however you are. Notice where the warmth is coming from. And can you take a full breath in and pause at the top of the inhale and spread that energy, that warmth into other parts of your body? Bridge with a block or a prop. Adjust the block again so it's all the way down towards the pubic bone. Give it a squeeze. Feet plant down. Lift the toes slightly so you just stretch the bottoms of the feet and then you can keep the toes lifted or place them back down. Palms open, arms relax alongside of your body. Inhale, squeeze sit bone muscles, curl tailbone, lift the hips up off of the floor. Soften the throat, jaw, cheeks, forehead, soften the muscles around your eyes. Inhale, feel the diaphragm widen. Exhale, push through the shin bones and ankles. Squeeze the block. But if you squeeze the block so much and that allows other muscles to grip back off, so you're only squeezing about 70%. Inhale, feel the chest rise towards the chin. Exhale, lengthen the back of your neck. If you feel the armpit muscles or fingers grip or strain, let them go, wiggle it out. Inhale, use the breath to find ease in this pose. Okay, to come out of the pose, lower the space between shoulder blades and pause. Squeeze the block, curl the tailbone up again, lower the mid vertebrae, pause, squeeze the block and sit bone muscles, and continue to lower the spine down. Remove the block, roll to one side, and come up with a relaxed neck like we did in the beginning of class. Cradle your head in your hand and pick your head up. All right. Come to the top of your mat. Maybe grab a drink of water if you'd like. Prepare for chair pose. I'm going to do some B series here. Feet can come together, or you can have feet hip width apart. If your hamstrings are tight or low back is tight, keep your feet hip width. Spread the skin on the bottoms of your feet by stretching the pinky toes out. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, extend the arms up. Exhale, sink back into your chair. Draw pubic bone towards belly button, so you really feel for it, lengthening the spine, tailbone down. Good. 
Where are you struggling? And instead of feeling the struggle, can you find the comfort and the ease in this pose? Gaze on one point or close the eyes. On your next exhale, fold forward, bow down. Inhale, hop, step, or jump back into top of a push-up position, a high plank. Squeeze the legs together, lower the knees, unhook the tops of your feet. Allow your thigh bones and your spine to come into one line, so you're not dipping the hips forward and already back bending. Use your core here. Now lower down in one piece, elbows draw in, chest comes down. Low cobra, slide the hands forward, so elbows are underneath shoulders. Spread hands, reach through the toes and inner ankle. Inhale, lift the elbows up, exhale, pull the chest forward, lengthening as you come back down. You should feel a stretch in the abdomen and diaphragm belly area. Now slide the shoulders, the hands underneath your shoulders. Squeeze the back of your armpit muscles. So rather than doing the, the chicken, you're drawing the elbows in. Curl toes, push up and back into downward dog. Hi. Inhale, step your left foot forward for bird wing. In warrior two. Left foot in front, so the left knee is over the ankle. Back leg is straight. Bring the elbows into the ribcage, palms open. Squeeze elbows and upper arm bones into the torso as you open the arms out to the side and soften as you come back to center. Four more. Squeeze, 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 opening the palms, and exhale, release, draw abdomen in. Inhale, open into bird wing. Exhale, soften, about one or two more. Really feel for broadening the chest. Release, reverse warrior, bring the Excuse me. Reverse warrior. Reach your left arm up and overhead. Right hand can hold onto your right thigh or calf, anywhere but the knee. Like we did in the beginning of class in our side bend, do the same thing here. Breathe into the left side of your body. Relax the chin towards the chest. Now, if you are reaching back as far as you can and you're past that comfort zone, you're feeling pain, back off a little bit, find your sweet spot. Inhale into the ease of this pose. Exhale, soften the shoulders so that there's space for your throat. Now continue to reach through inner left thigh and feel the pelvic bowl, pelvic floor. And can you squeeze your genital muscles, your sit bone muscles, the low abdomen to really support the rib cage and heart? On your next inhale, come back up to warrior two. For extended warrior, bring the left forearm on the thigh, palm open. Reach right arm up towards the ceiling, open up the chest, and then extend the arm forward towards the front of your mat. Now relax your head and neck. If your bottom shoulder is making a shelf for your head, 
slide that shoulder down, use the muscles of the back body rather than the traps. And feel this long line of energy, this long stretch from your right foot up the right leg through the right side of your heart, through the arm and fingers. Notice your breath. Can you lengthen it here? Maybe by adding those pauses between inhale and exhale. Okay, take two more cycles of breath. Engage shoulder muscles, push the ground away. And then go ahead and release. Hands come down. Inhale, step back and lower onto your knees. From here, come into dolphin, grab opposite elbows and bicep area to so really widen your arm stance enough so that the elbows are under shoulders. You do not want them wider than the shoulders. For the first stage of dolphin, interlace fingers together, push the forearms and wrist down. Relax your head and neck, and then dome out your chest. So you're again wrapping your shoulder blades, lifting the sternum away from the floor. Shake the head out. Curl toes under, come up into dolphin. Inhale, lift the tailbone high. Exhale, soften the face. Reach the heels towards the earth. Maybe even try to lift the toes up so you rest on the ball mounds of your feet. Two more breaths. Feel your strength. Feel the ease. Come on down. Downward dog. Step your right foot forward. Warrior two. Bird wing. Bring the elbows in. Palms open, chin aligned over the sternum. Squeeze armpit muscles as you reach the hands out to the sides and then soften and come back to center. Squeeze, 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 rolling the shoulders, the heads of the shoulders open and release, come back to center. Three more. Reach back with the thumbs as far as you can go. After five bird wing movements, come back to warrior two. Reverse from the left hand on the left side, reach right arm overhead. Continue to flex the muscles in your legs. I feel the energy flowing through this part of your body. Legs are a lot stronger than we think. So if they're quivering, know that that is your strength, persevering. Inhale into the right rib cage. Exhale, curl tailbone down. Let the head soften, the jaw soften. Now 
Take a big breath in, come back up to warrior two for extended warrior. Right forearm on the thigh, palm open. Left arm, reach it up so you open up the chest and torso. And then extend the arm forward. Wrap the left shoulder in toward the armpit. Kind of even lock the elbow because straightening your arm here will help to let the stretch go down into the, the bottom of your lat, all the way towards low back. Don't feel for the heaviness in your feet. So notice if you're kind of dumping weight into the arch of your foot or to the outer edge of your feet, and can you even it out? Maybe pick up the, the toes, feel the four corners, spread the toes back down, push evenly. Okay, go ahead and come out of the pose, step back into your plank, pause, squeeze sit bone muscles, lower the knees softly, unhook the tops of your feet, Pull abdomen in, lower here in one piece gradually. Low cobra, slide hands forward. Pause. Pull the chin in towards the throat. Inhale, lift the elbows up, grip the floor. Exhale, reach to the toes and the fingers as you come down. Downward dog. Warrior two, go ahead and step your left foot up between the hands and pause. Wrist stretches, stage three. Extend your arms out to the side. Reach through the heels of your hands, palms open. Go ahead and curl the pinky ring, middle pointer fingers down. And then the thumb on top, so you're making a fist, then reach the knuckles down. And here you'll feel the stretch on the tops of your wrists. Elbows are bent slightly. Go ahead and open the palms. Curl the thumb under, and then the rest of the fingers around the thumb. Now here, reach the knuckles away from your body, so towards the front and the back of your mat. And here you'll feel a stretch on the sides of your wrists. Take one more breath in. And exhale, release. One more round. Palms open. Reach through the heels of your hands. Curl pinky, ring, middle, pointer, and then the thumb. Knuckles reach down. Continue to bend your left leg into that warrior two stance. You kind of release, palms open, thumbs first, then the rest of the fingers around the thumbs. Reach the knuckles away from you, pulling on the thumb. Feel the comfort, the release. And come out of that. Next is extended warrior variation. Take the left forearm on top of the left thigh, palm open, reach right arm up, bend the elbow, calm, grab a hold of your waistband, or push the back of your hand into your low back. Now here, the challenge is to relax the gaze and the head and the neck. So can you trust your body? Can you feel its strength?
Inhale into the upper right chest. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades slightly together. Soften the throat, the underside of the jaw. Where does the comfort live in this pose? Does it live in the top and the bottom of the breath? When you take that pause, go ahead and release. Interlock warrior, this is where your strap may come in handy. If you don't have a strap, just grab articles of clothing. Go ahead and take the strap in your right arm and bring it around your back. And then you can go ahead and grab the strap from underneath or let the hands come to touch. Inhale, lengthen the torso, exhale, pull belly in. Get low and stay low. Push the ground away with the feet. One more breath. And exhale, release the strap down. Come on to hands and knees. Dolphin, round two. Good. This time, grab opposite biceps, check your alignment, palms down. Fingers spread, thumbs reach in, pinkies reach out, middle finger is pointing straight forward. Go ahead and round the spine up, beating shoulder muscles, relax the head and the neck. Curl toes, come into dolphin. Feel your rib cage. Inhale, feel movement when you breathe in. Exhale, push the earth away with your forearms. Lift the ribcage away from shoulders, away from the floor. If your neck is gripping, let it go. Bring ease into the throat and shoulders. Okay, go ahead and come down into child's pose or embryo pose for just a brief moment or two. So allow the shoulders to soften, head rest down. Embryo is hands back by the ankles, forehead down. Child's pose, toes together, knees out wide. Either one. Go ahead and come back up to hands and knees. Push back and into downward dog. Inhale, left foot steps up. Warrior two. Kite hawks, spread fingers and hands open. Roll the thumbs back and down. And exhale, roll the thumbs forward. Heads of the shoulders roll forward as well. And continue feeling for rotation in the shoulders. Massaging the rotator cuff ligaments. So the forearm bone and the upper arm bone stay together. Take about one more. Rolling forward and back. Extended warrior variation. Bring the right forearm on the thigh. 
Lift the left arm up at first, pulling the chest open. And then go ahead and bring the arm around side the body. Palm can stay open. Again, you can grab your waistband or even the hip crease. Inhale, telescope the ribs away from the waist and thigh. Exhale, squeeze left sit bone muscle. And relax the head and the neck. Where is your attention? Bring your attention into the breath. Feeling how simple it is to breathe. When you're full pause, and then exhale it out and come into interlock warrior. You can grab your strap or interlace hands or grab clothing. Push through the big bones of your feet. Soften the head and neck. Continue to peel the chest open. Squeeze the left shoulder. Pull the left shoulder back. And release. Come out of that. Hands come down. Sit back into plank. Squeeze legs. Pull abdomen in. Lower the knees or lower in one piece from here. Low cobra hands come forward. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, lengthen and lower back down. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and walk, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Roll or reach up to a stand. And exhale, come into chair pose. Clasp your hands behind your back, squeeze shoulder blades, open up the chest. Continue to bend those legs, get low. And then release forward fold. From here, go ahead and sit down. Extend your right leg long and hug the left knee in. From here, we're gonna just rock our baby. So go ahead and pick up the left leg, grab the left foot, and you can hold the leg like a little baby and just rock. If you're feeling pretty flexible, the foot can come into the right elbow crease, and you can clasp hands together and rock here. Now we have a tendency in this pose to really slouch, especially if our hips or back are tight. Use the abdomen to sit up really tall. Imagine you're a puppet and you're being pulled up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach through the right heel. Exhale, push hips down. Okay, release. Let's just switch sides. Hug the right leg in, activate the left leg, spread toes, and go ahead and rock your right-legged baby. Core should be working a lot. So if you're not using your abdomen, back off of wherever you feel stuck. And go ahead and 
Let the left leg, or the, excuse me, the right leg come down. Forward fold with both legs straight. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, grab a hold of the shins, ankles, or feet. Inhale to scoop the heart away from the thighs. Exhale again, pull the abdomen in, fold forward. And close your eyes here. You're not judging yourself or comparing yourself to where I'm at. But instead, where do you find comfort in this pose? If it means backing off more than you think is appropriate, then do so. Let our intent, let the focus come first. And feel your breath. Go ahead and roll yourself upright. And cross your legs. One more seated posture, neck release. Take your left hand and squeeze the fingers together. Go ahead and sit on your left hand. So you're really grounding that hand into the, into the floor putting pressure on it, locking the arm in place. Inhale, lift up through the sternum, and exhale, let the right ear hover towards the right shoulder. Now notice I'm not letting my shoulder hike up to support the head. Feel for breathing into these fibers that are lengthening and elongating in your neck. Feel the body's rate of release. Let it happen organically. Without forcing it. Without jerking it. The jaw is tense. Lick your lips. Let the Jaw hang. Let the tongue take up space. So come out of the pose, release the hand underneath your sit bone. Take your right hand on the right side of your face, pick your head upright. Switch, squeeze the right fingers together, sit on your hand. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, relax your head and neck to the left. And let the shoulders hang on the torso. Let them be pulled by gravity. And find a spot for your head, so maybe it falls back a little bit, or maybe the chin comes towards the collarbone. Where is the comfort in this pose for you? Inhale all the way up underneath shoulder blades. And exhale, empty, fully pulling the belly in. And feel those fibers elongate. and then release. Cradle your head in your hand and pick your head upright. Come onto your backs. Feel free for doing a quick happy baby. Grabbing the feet, knees come out to the sides. And then come into your Shavasana. 
Now would be a great time if you would like to pause the video and set your own Shavasana timer. We will take a three minute Shavasana if you continue to watch this video. Let the feet fall out, arms soften. Notice if there's any internal gripping in the torso, hips or legs. Let go of being in control. Let go of controlling your breath. Let go of controlling the mind. Soften another layer. Take a feeling breath inside and open up, exhale. Notice what shifted. Notice where you feel more ease and comfort. Get specific. So you really can notice what changes in your yoga practice. What's changed since you first stepped on your mat? Go ahead and rock the head left to right. And reach your arms up and overhead. Give yourself a little wiggle. Take any movements that just naturally come up. And roll to one side of your body. Pause for a moment. Mm. Mm. Tell yourself by using your own name. Thank you for getting on your mat. Thank you for carving out time to stretch it out, to feel, to find comfort and ease in your body. With a relaxed neck, come up to a seat. 
pick your head up using your hand. At the end of yoga, we say namaste, which means the light in me honors the light in each one of you. Namaste. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we practiced, anything we did in class. Uh, I would love to answer them and support you. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.